Maxwell Sangulani. Chikambutso's story is a remarkable testament to the power of human ingenuity and perseverance. His groundbreaking innovations, particularly his self-sustaining vehicle, challenge established scientific norms and highlight Africa's potential as a leader in technological advancements. Despite facing numerous challenges, including a lack of formal education and opposition from powerful industries, Chikumbutso has continued to push the boundaries of energy and transportation technology. His journey began in Budiriro, a densely populated suburb of Harare, Zimbabwe, where he was born in 1980. Growing up in a financially struggling household, Chikumbutso had to drop out of school at the age of 14 due to economic hardships. However, his lack of formal education did not hinder his intellectual curiosity. From an early age, he displayed an exceptional ability to understand and manipulate technology. With no access to structured academic training, laboratories, or mentors, he relied on self-learning and experimentation, using discarded electronic components to create various devices. One of his earliest achievements was building a homemade radio transmitter that successfully broadcasted over a short distance. This small success ignited his passion for innovation, and as a teenager, he went on to develop a digital navigation system, a turbine engine, and various other electronic systems that astonished those who witnessed them. His ability to conceptualize and construct advanced technology without any formal engineering background surprised experts in the field. Chikambutso often attributes his innovations to divine inspiration, claiming that he received vivid visions that guided him through the development process. He believes that these visions provided him with insights into energy and engineering principles that conventional scientific methods had yet to discover. According to him, he could hear instructions and would then experiment with different electronic components based on what was revealed to him. This unique approach to innovation led him to create some of the most advanced technological systems in Africa. By the late 1990s, he had intensified his research and experimentation, shifting his focus towards sustainable energy solutions. In 2009, he invented what he called the Micronic Energy Device, a revolutionary system that captures radio frequencies from the atmosphere and converts them into usable electrical energy. This breakthrough laid the foundation for his most ambitious project, the world's first self-sustaining vehicle. Unlike traditional electric vehicles that require charging or fuel, Chikumbutso's car continuously draws power from the air, ensuring an uninterrupted energy supply. If scalable, this invention could redefine the global automotive industry by eliminating the need for gasoline engines and lithium-ion batteries. The implications of such a technology are profound. Not only does it offer a clean and renewable energy source, but it also significantly reduces costs associated with fuel and battery replacements. Furthermore, it aligns perfectly with global efforts to combat climate change by reducing dependence on fossil fuels. Chikumbutso's prototype vehicle, which integrates his micronic energy technology, boasts impressive performance capabilities. It has an unlimited range, meaning it never runs out of power, unlike conventional electric cars that require frequent recharging. Additionally, it can reach speeds exceeding 220 km per hour and accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2 seconds when in sport mode. The vehicle's motor generates approximately 215 horsepower with 320 to 380 newton meters of torque, making it comparable to standard SUVs in terms of power output. Furthermore, it serves as a mobile power source capable of supplying up to 15 kilowatts of electricity to a household when parked, making it an invaluable resource in areas with unreliable electricity. Beyond the automotive industry, the potential applications of Chikumbutso's energy technology are vast. If implemented on a large scale, it could revolutionize power generation in various sectors, from residential and industrial energy supply to telecommunications and aerospace. The economic impact of mass producing such vehicles would be substantial, reducing transportation costs, decreasing reliance on imported fuel, and promoting clean energy solutions worldwide.
However, Chikumbutso's journey has been anything but smooth. His radical innovations have faced skepticism and resistance from powerful players in the oil and automotive industries. He has also encountered personal attacks and attempts to suppress his work. He claims that during a visit to Silicon Valley, he and his research partner were poisoned, an act he believes was meant to halt his progress. Despite such challenges, he remains determined to see his vision come to fruition. Recognition for his work has come from both local and international.